Welcome to another episode of Bactor Busted. I'm your host, Rob McCallum, a.k.a. Rob McZob. And today, we are going to look at a Star Wars Kickstarter campaign for some fan t-shirts. So let's head over to Kickstarter and see what's up. So as I said, we're going to highlight... Uh, a fan project it looks like it is called the ultimate star wars fan t-shirts so not very creative necessarily but it definitely says what it is although we will see if it meets the burden of proof to determine whether it's the ultimate star wars fan t-shirts or not but the description says it is they these are the perfect shirts for hardcore star wars fans of the original trilogy and the new generation as well asking the question where were you in 77 so they are looking for a goal of 3,088, which is equivalent to $2,500 US. They have so far raised 777 Canadian dollars with 21 backers to go and 11 days, or 21 backers and 11 days to go, excuse me. This is a design project, as you can see here, uh, and they've Sandy Calera has created 12 different campaigns. So this is the most recent, I'm guessing. Let's see what the video is like and then maybe critique it and see how we're doing. Hey everyone, I'm Sandy Calora, and yes, I was there in 77. Staten Island, New York, the Island Theater with my best friend Bobby Schubert. We saw Star Wars, and boy did it change my life. It led to a 30-year career in the film industry as a creature designer, art director, storyboard artist, director, and I've lived all my dreams basically because of Star Wars. But I'll tell you something. Recently, I've noticed a rift developing in the fan base of this beloved franchise. Um, and although I am a diehard original fan of the first three films, what most of us refer to as the Holy Trilogy, and I didn't particularly care that much for the prequels or or what's out there now i still own them i watch them they're part of the mythos they're part of the world it's star wars and i love star wars so although my love for star wars runs very deep i do have a a, a preference for those first three films because i was so young when they came out i was seven years nine years old when Star Wars first came out in 1977, and like I said, it changed my life. Um, but I realized that these these newer films basically are that for the younger generation. You know, for people that were the same age that I was when the first film came out, they were that age maybe when the prequels came out or maybe when Force Awakens came out or whatever. So for them, I've made this shirt. 77. I wasn't there, but I don't care. So there you go. We got two shirts. You got the I was there in 77. The I wasn't there, but I don't care. Um, so it's, it's a great idea for like parents and kids, you know, like I, you know, my nephews would wear this. Of course, I'm going to rock the, the 77 one, but you know, like I said, Star Wars is for everybody, and Star Wars is is what you make it, you know, and it's, it's, it's what you like, and I guess this is my attempt at trying to close that rift, that divide between, you know, people that are mostly my age and, you know, the fans of the original trilogy and the people that like the new stuff, and I know there's crossover, there's a lot of guys, older guys and gals that that you know that like the new stuff too and like i said so do i i mean do i like it as much as the, as the original films no but it's still rad and all that but you know so this that that's it you know it's very it's, it's this is a simple campaign it's something i came up with pretty quickly it's a really unique idea that i think is a lot of fun and i i, I think these are the ultimate star wars shirts so i hope you do too so thank you for watching and thanks for your support bye Okay, and there we have the pitch video, the campaign video for the Ultimate Star Wars Fan t-shirts. Turn the volume down here a bit and let's just step through it again. So one of my common complaints I have for a lot of videos is that we don't get to see the creator of the project introduce uh, the, the campaign and give us a reason why we should like it. And there's certainly no uh, closing remarks or anything that we should pay attention to. And, and a lot of the campaigns we've featured here on Backed or Busted but this campaign almost does everything the opposite from everything we've seen so far in that it only shows 
uh, the campaign creator and doesn't dare show anything else. Really? Well, that's not true. We get to see his two t-shirts. Uh, Sandy is from Huntington Beach, California. You can see that uh, he's got a lot of movie props, so he's clearly a fan. He's got a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, I'm not sure why, based on this video, he needs to go to Kickstarter uh, to help him. I'm not sure why, based on this video, that these are the ultimate Star Wars fan shirts. I get that there's two and that he's noticed a rift between the original trilogy of films and the new trilogy of films that's coming out. So he's created a t-shirt for each. Um, I... <sighs> I, I don't know. As a Star Wars fan, personally, I got a lot of thoughts on, on that, and that seems a little bit more divisive than uh, showing a, a spark of unity for everybody and making me wonder you know, if these are the ultimate Star Wars fan shirts or not. I just don't know that this video does too much to persuade me. He does a lot of talking. I thought it would be a quick intro and then a little bit of a story that takes uh, takes us through how the shirts got made or, or why he needs to make them. And clearly, the shirts are made, so I don't know what he needs the 2500 for, the 3080 Canadian. Uh, so, super curious to find out more about that. Let's jump right into the campaign uh, and, and see what we can read to discover more. So 40 years ago, I was nine years old. Yeah, that was another thing that he <laughs> mixed up in the video itself. For such a huge fan, he had no idea how old he was when the film came out. He said, seven, nine. Oh, oh I was nine. Yeah, I was nine. Uh, in May of that summer, I saw a film that changed my life forever. So even just seeing a, a, this image in that video would have been really kind of great, to be honest. Star Wars wasn't just a movie for me. It became a lifestyle as well as a cultural phenomenon. Those subsequent films were made in the late 90s through now. I've... I've I've always felt that the original trilogy and its fans were very special. For many of us who were there in 1977 and experienced the first time, the difference between that and what Star Wars has ultimately became, become today is huge. Look at these stickers. As someone in the film and entertainment industry for 30 years, I've always carried my love for Star Wars with me through thick and thin, good and bad. I know, especially lately, that it seems to be a lot of rift of sorts developed between fans of this beloved franchise. Older, middle-aged fans like me, by large, did not like the prequels and had mixed feelings about the most recent films. Younger people who grew up with the prequels and what are seeing now relate to these films as their Star Wars, and rightly so. And for some reason, we're seeing the Christmas special uh, image here. No idea why. I don't know if that's just showing how hardcore he is or what. I've very carefully designed two different t-shirts and some stickers that represent each of these groups. I'm not sure why he needs to represent each of these groups or what that matters. Uh, and I wouldn't say putting some text with the star field in the background says he's very carefully done stuff. It, uh, it just looks like the Star Wars font. As you can clearly see, they do not say the words Star Wars on them, nor do they use characters or iconography from the film. Uh, that is not public domain. It's simply some text and a starfield on a black uh, heather cotton poly blend super soft shirt. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. As I just said, <laughs> it is essentially what we see. Though 77 is long and gone, and I miss that era like no one will ever know. I've come to realize Star Wars is for everyone, and each devoted fan has their favorite film or time period in this much beloved and now diverse world. Uh, thanks for your support, and may the force be with you. So this is probably his family, although we don't see it here. Uh, let's look at the risks and challenges. Making t-shirts is challenging. I know it sounds simple, but to get it just right takes time, patience, and the right screen printer. I've chosen longtime collaborator, Californiated Ink, to print these shirts for me, and they will deliver. I've worked with them for many years, and they printed the shirts for some of my other campaigns. There's always snags, but falls in a learning curve for each new design. With our combined experience, we'll get it done and deliver you a product that you'll love and be proud that you backed. So he's basically saying that he's a pro at this. He knows what he's doing. You can't underestimate Sandy here. He's He's got it all sorted out. Let's take a look at the rewards. All right, so there's no dollar pledge. I always say you should do that because even if I felt bad for this guy, I might give him a buck. But I can't, so I won't. Pledge $5 or more. I was there. Bumper sticker. So that's a shipping thing. Anywhere in the world, though. Standard 70 style rectangular bumper sticker for your car, skateboard, laptop, or land speeder. Represent your love for the OG trilogy. I don't care. Other bumper sticker. Uh, I was there. T-shirt. I don't care. T-shirt. I was there. Package, which is this, the T-shirt. I was there. TN sticker. Come on. Why would you get one and not the other? Pick your size with the reward survey. $25, I don't care package. 
So you get the I was there and I don't care. 40 bucks. Two shirts of your choice. Pick two shirts, one of each uh, or two of your desired preference. Three shirts of your choice for 50 bucks. Family package. Four shirts for your desired preference. You pick the styles and sizes when I send you the reward survey. So let's just count these up here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine different rewards. They all revolve around essentially two products. There's four SKUs in total, but it's really two products. We have two t-shirts and two bumper stickers. He has split them up into different reward tiers. We have the I was there bumper sticker, for example, and the I don't care. It could just be you pick a bumper style, and then when you get the survey, you get to pick which one you want. So that would eliminate the amount that I have to read, for example. Same with the t-shirts. At 20 bucks each, we don't need two separate tiers. Uh, it could just be one and you get to pick your style because right now this is looks like a lot of people don't want the I don't care one compared to the original uh, Package I was there and sticker so there is no price break at all You just simply get it added because the shirts are 20 bucks and the bumper stickers are five So there's no price break for getting both of them It would have been nice if it was $24 just to save a buck and make it worthwhile and make it a little more attractive the pledge 40 bucks two t-shirts of your choice again no price break make it 38 dollars or 39 dollars just so it feels a little cheaper just so it's it's justifiable now we do get a price break when we get to the 50 dollar level you get three shirts so instead of 60 dollars we're getting them for 50 so it's a little bit more than 16 a little bit less than 17 dollars per shirt and then of course the family package 65 bucks you get four four bingo bongo shirts which isn't which isn't that bad of a deal i guess if if these are your things so here we go that works out to about 16 bucks each i guess uh so i would be combining these bumper sticker ones for sure combining these t-shirt ones uh if you want to dub, do a double up uh one then you can do that i combine these package ones and that's it there's there's nothing too exciting going on here but that's kind of honestly why i really like this campaign because it, it's a good example of uh, a small scope of a campaign where there's still a lot of mistakes it's not complicated it's not a big piece of tech with a lot of options it's not a movie with a lot of moving parts or a board game with tons of stretch goals we are talking a t-shirt run Okay, and there's bumper stickers that echo the, the sentiments that are on the shirt. And yet, even though it's so simple as just a t-shirt, and there's a lot of, you know, buy this t-shirt today or shirt of the day sites, there's still a lot of mistakes that he made that he could have probably learned from that stuff. So the reward's definitely a huge error. Divide them by two right away, and it's easier for me to decide and then sort it out through the survey. Just as he's saying here, if we're picking the size of the survey, can't we pick the style that we want or the, or the slogan? I probably think we could do the, exactly that, Sandy. Uh, and the, you're going to lose points on the video too because, I don't know, it just went on way too long and never really got to the heart of what mattered and, and why these are the ultimate Star Wars t-shirts. All you're telling me is that there's just two different types of Star Wars fans and you've made a shirt for each of them and maybe that to you is the ultimate thing, but maybe you're trying to say the ultimate Star Wars fans are the 77 ones like you and so these are the ultimate shirts for them even though you've made another shirt that doesn't cater to them. I'm not too sure. I'm going to jump over to kick track here and see if I can find Sandy's project. The ultimate Star Wars fan t-shirt. See what kick track says. Look, it's listed already. It's, it's trending towards just about $975. Doesn't look like it's going to make it back here on Kickstarter. You can see that we're far below our goal. We're sitting around 25%. Is that what this is here? Yeah, we're at 25% of our goal. It's updated 31 minutes ago. There are no tags that have been er, entered here. Sorry, Sandy, big mistake. And I can't even scroll down because we don't have enough press or there's been no press to showcase. Funding progress. Pretty flat line. Not a lot going on in the daily data. Should reflect that as well. 217, 167, which are always going to be two nice days for you. Uh, whenever you start a campaign, 51, 62, and then goes down. 73, 52, then seven dollars. Nothing. Okay. And that number that they've raised, 629, includes shipping. So I would uh, really question what it might uh, actually be without the shipping. Hard to say. Uh, backers per day, 7722111. 
the average per day is one so far. So it's not hard to expect this campaign to not hit the mark. But you can see, again, that there's just a lot going on uh, and a lot that has gone wrong because the campaign video isn't compelling. We're seeing a lot of passion for sure, but it's not the right kind of passion that motivates me to want to sell. While I do like the imagery used here, and this is a nice little touch with the drop shadow and we get to see the slogan up close and crystal clear, I have no idea why this is here. This Star Wars Christmas special has nothing to do with the campaign at all. It has nothing to do really with the 77 trilogy as, as an entity other than it coming out in the same time after A New Hope. But it's, it's not part of the trilogy is what I mean. And it has nothing to do with the prequels. And we just see the shirts. That's that's it. And then I'm presumably his family. Uh, so this just this campaign goes wrong in, in so many ways. Let's let's take a look at the community. So where everyone's from. 16 backers are from the United States. We have one backer from Canada, Denmark, Ireland, Germany, and the United Kingdom. So there you go. Not too bad. Brampton, Canada. Not far from where we're recording this episode has a backer. There is no city that has more than one backer at all. So Fresno, Chester Springs, Bellevue, uh, Austin, Allentown, and all the way up. I'm not going to take a chance and butcher these international cities. I have far too much pride for that. We got a comment here. First comment. It's a super backer. So he, that person is backed a lot. Here we go. So I, I'm sure you, everybody that's listening and is uh, wondering with bated breath if this is backed or busted, but before I give you that answer, let's take a look at Sandy's other campaigns here. The Ultimate Star Wars Fan T-shirts. I don't know. I don't think it's going to make it. We'll see. The Art of Creature and Character Design Volume 4 Process. So this was a good one for him. This went well. They pledged almost $30,000 to make this come to life. Good job. So creature designer and sculptor Sandy Clara has written the ultimate how-to book on making monster uh maquette from start to finish that's awesome that's cool 30 dollars digital download good deal 35 bucks for an early bird soft cover so some love there of course this is a similar shot to what we've seen on the other campaign so he really likes that angle that's okay and this guy obviously knows the stuff i'll give him that give him that for sure but uh yeah this campaign not so much let's see what are some of his other campaigns souls of the abyss funding unsuccessful uh the art of shallow water a short book about short film so he's doing well with the books rubber head sex drugs and special effects this came to life shallow water 2.0 that came to life when i say came to life i mean it was funded the the art of creature and character design volume three that came to life as well the shark hunter uh creature action figure that happened uh, shallow water terror runs deep that was unsuccessful it was a film by sandy didn't happen the art of creature and character design volume two that was successful the art of uh, creature and character design that was successful batman dead end a 10-year retrospective uh short batman film premiered at san diego comic-con the true story behind the cult film and its aftermath so he has a bunch of like kickstarter uh, campaigns that get a lot of love and staff picks and you can see that it's indicated by this this heart here all these projects that have done well and it's really mind-boggling that he would do these awesome intricate detailed books and yet he puts together a bit of a lazy campaign and underestimates it maybe this was just a whim where he thought oh i got all these backers that like my stuff maybe they'll like my t-shirts uh I don't know, just really surprised that uh, for someone who's had so much success on Kickstarter that he would not put the time and energy to making this campaign uh, as special as it should be. Mark my words, if this becomes a funded project, there's something suspicious going on. As a result, I cannot back this project. I declare this campaign completely busted. And for the record, I am looking at this because this was suggested to me, proving my point once again. If you reach out to me and you want me to take a look at a Kickstarter uh, campaign i will do so i will highlight it if you have a project that you want some help with hit me up at crowdfunding spectacular 99 at gmail.com on twitter at rob mczob or on facebook facebook.com slash or busted crowdfunding looking forward to hearing from you guys and until next time create something awesome mm -hmm.